Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Human Colony Saturday webinar. This is December 17th, 2016. And this morning we have our lovely Jim Charles, who's joining us again. Good morning, Jim. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas, happy holiday, happy Hanukkah, uh, fine Nirvana, whatever you want. Have yes. a good season. <laughs> whatever you want. Just enjoy yourself. We're so happy to have you back here again today, Jim. Um, I don't know if we have any major announcements to make right off the bat. Um, Jim, do you have anything that you wanted to announce? Uh, not right at the moment. At this time, um, I'm just preparing for Christmas, and I know many of you are preparing for holidays in this area as well. So. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful season, a lot of happiness, a lot of uh, people caring about one another. So I love that about this holiday season. And um, I'm sure that in the spring there will be, I mean in the after Christmas, there will be like a Reiki or a channeling class or something coming up. I'm not sure what. I have to get with Max and we haven't really decided what we're doing yet so uh we had decided to do something in november and then it got changed and now we are going to do it in january so and i wanted to thank gabriel right off the top here i got some christmas presents from sweden if you can see tails and sonic they they arrived on my doorstep one day and um, they were from Sweden. Thank you, Gabriel. So very sweet. Thank you very much. That is super cute. Yes. That's awesome. Very, very cute. <laughs> uh, okay, well, well then we will um, continue to keep people up to date on upcoming Reiki classes. Please, people, if you are interested in Reiki classes, please email us, email max at humancolony.org or anyone else and on our website. Please let us know which one you want, Reiki 1, 2, or 3, uh, because uh, whoever gets the, whatever gets the most requests, that's what we'll do next. Because some people are still needing one, some want two, some want three, but we can't do them all at once. But we will get them all in next year. But whoever, whichever one has the greatest need for this time, that's one we will do first. Okay, awesome. That sounds good. Um, on that same note, if anyone would like to transcribe for our videos to write out what is said with the channeler's messages, please let us know. Please go to humancolony.org because we do need transcribers. Um, other than that, um, go to humancolony.org to stay up to date on our events. We have a calendar on there. Um, and let's see, I think other than that, um, if there's no other announcements, Oh, we're not sure. Jim, are you channeling for the next webinar? Do you know? Well, next weekend is Christmas Eve, so right. I'm not sure if anybody wants to channel on Christmas <laughs> Eve. I have a feeling we might be able to find somebody. I am happy to um, to take part in that. So um, Very good, I, because I'm going to take that whole weekend off. There's going to be people good. visiting, going places and everything, but I will be back the following weekend after that. Okay, great. Good to know. I'll put that in the calendar. Um, so yeah, I guess we're looking for um, some channeler options. So we will um, work with some people for next webinar. So yes, go to humancolony.org. Um, let's move to requests. I have only seen a few requests pop up here. Um, let's see. Uh, Sheer was asking for El Yaha. Oh, that wasn't Sheer. El Yaha. El Yaha. El Yaha. And um, we have some requests for blue reptilians and blue lions separately. Um, the blue lions are also known as the, what was it, Angie? The Na, Na, Novon Triad Collective or something. I would like to request them because there's some interesting stuff going on with blue lions right now and all this lion energy and the Lionsgate portal on 1212 we just went through and all that 
awesome stuff. Um, let's see what else. We have requests for Tur. Um, we have requests for, oh yeah, the Dorians, okay, and Sirius, I think. Um, requests for hybrid kids. Okay. Um, fifth dimension, is that reptilian Kana? Am, am I reading that right, Gabe? I'm not yeah. sure. Um, Elohim, um, yeah, so we have a few requests Quite that are coming in. Yeah. Um, so with that said, um, I think we can probably move forward to blessings. So um, I, oh, Angie, did you say? Yeah, yeah. Angie, do a blessing. Oh, wonderful. Well, Angie, please start us off, and then we will move forward. Um, everyone, please request if you'd like to volunteer a blessing. Okay. Before she starts, I saw Gabriel just popped in. Gabriel, did you see that I received the, the Sonic and the Tails? I just wanted to make sure you you got to see that they are here. I did show them to everybody earlier, but you weren't there yet. <laughs> I hope you like it. Yes, Lakesh, they're, Lakesh, they're sitting on the, they decorate my couch very nicely. Lakesh will love them. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll start off with Angie's blessing. Thank you, Gabriel. Atua na ia sanatia. Asasaniaya lalanika aia satia. Waaniaya awala. Asasinia aniata. Waaniaya naia. Asia. Wahanaya, naya ania asiaka, wasanaya na eata. When you discover the words of wisdom, they become small miracles because they enlighten you and make you aware of how people are feeling, what is happening, and where you are going. The path is full of wisdom if you can find it. Seek. Thank you, Angie. That's beautiful. I will do a quick blessing. I'm not seeing any other um, volunteers, so we can probably move forward afterwards. Ia hao ro honta ka shanio so koro anti kia hanta. Isa na hao so koro shoan nia ka ototo shoan ta. Mi kia o so toro an nia ka hao sata ki ototo anti kishi a toro honta ki a tata osa. Ia ra hao nta i ki a o na ha i a ta o to koro honta ha. Ia o so to o na ha i ki a shata i o so to o na ha i ki a to. Haya hanta, masa kyoto sho an haya koro toa. Ia na hao ka sata aosa, yanta ha ka oto, ante kata aoso toa. Namaste. All the sun and all the universes cannot outshine the face of God. His face will eternally be the brightest of all the stars and all the things that are seen within the universe. So that, therefore, know that he is ready and willing to help you and to shine on you if that is what you need. Find in your heart a little place for this unfathomable light. Let it be in a greater way a part of who you are. Wow. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Always amaze myself. Um, Carolina uh, had just volunteered. You can go right ahead, dear. Uh, can you hear me? My computer is very slow. I can kind yes, of I hear you. The internet's a little choppy, but go right ahead. 
thank you. I felt the uh, leering, um, but uh, um, to try the Dorian. This is from the species I channel um, from Blue. Namaste. We see that you are come a little farther down the road of light into the presence of new confrontations, new ideas, and new lessons. Make sure that you keep yourself aware of all the things around you. Observance is a great thing and will help you on your journey. Also to know that your hearts are in the right place so the wisdoms that are given to you can be understood, not only just heard, but to be brought into use by your own heart, mind, soul, and spirit. Make sure that you are running and not walking to the light. That was amazing, Carolina. You have advanced since I last heard you attempt to speak Dorian, so congrats to you. I know it's kind of hard. They have like gills and all this stuff. They're like a hybrid Syrian species, aquatic, so they're very pretty. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, we had Gabe, who has volunteered. Go right ahead, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Make sure that when you speak, it changes the atmosphere to a positive ionic move instead of a negative one. Make sure that when you speak, the essence of your words lift and do not fall on lame ears, but perk them up and make them want to listen. Oh, wonderful. That is fun. Okay, thank you everybody, I think. We're wrapping it up for beginning blessings. And um, with that said, I think we can get started. Jim, are you ready? Very well. I know that I've already been told that um, Elijah will come first, but he said he'll be brief today. How wonderful. <laughs> <And then> I, <coughs> I do not know who else will be here, but... Um, We'll see what happens. So. Yes, sounds good. I know Everybody. there were some requests I missed. There were requests for God and some other. So let's just well, see Elijah, you know, who comes. Elijah is speaking for God sometimes. He speaks for God because when if God were to speak to the masses, they would not believe it. But they will believe Elijah. But they do not. A lot of people don't believe that God will actually speak to them. So it is. He is an intercessor at this time, and strangely enough, the message that Eliza brings is that you don't need an intercessor. So it's very strange, but um, it is what it is. Funny how so, that works. Funny how that works. Yes. So anyway, I will bring him first, and then whoever wants to come after that will come. Wonderful. Thank you. Much love, everybody.
Greetings to you all. I find in this day and age that there are many things to speak about, many thoughts and processes going on in the human culture. And as you decide that you want to be enlightened, you become enlightened as you seek. This reminds me of a verse from the Gospel of Thomas, which is not in your Bibles because they chose not to put it there. But it is all sayings of Yeshua. Thomas recorded many of his sayings because it was what Thomas wanted to do. He wanted to show the wisdom and beauty of Christ's thought process. And I am going to recite the second verse of the Gospel of Thomas and then tell you a little bit about it. Yeshua said, Whosoever shall seek, shall seek until they find. And when they find, they will be disturbed. And because they are disturbed, they will understand all. Now, in this verse, there are some translations that are slightly different, but this is actually what Jesus or Yeshua had said. When you seek, when you are finding and looking for the path to go on, when you're seeking the truth, sometimes you're going to find that what you find will be disturbing. In what way will it be disturbing? It may not be what you expect. Like the Christians they're seeking God and they may find Jesus but then they may find channeling and they may find the spirituality of angels they may find the spirituality of things that they are not looking for because they are seeking in places that may turn things up that they're not really looking for but yet, does that make it any less true? Does that make it any less part of what they are learning? No. So they may be disturbed. And because they are disturbed, they continue to seek because it may not be a bad disturbance. It may be a good disturbance. It may be a disturbance of their peace. It may be a disturbance of what they understand to be true. It may be a disturbance of the norm. Whatever disturbance he was talking about, it can lead to you understanding all things and having all things open up to you. Because you, as you open up to understanding, it will actually become wisdom to you because it is something different, something that you need to understand, perhaps. And in this way, your people are moving forward. So don't worry if you're disturbed by the truth. Sometimes the truth is very disturbing in many different ways. There's many things, to, the word disturbed does not have to be a negative connotation. It can mean that it's disturbing what is your normal life? What is your normal thought process? What is your normal way of thinking of things? So do not be boxed in by just what is there in front of you. Although Yeshua also speaks that there are things right in front of you that are hidden. When you find those things that are hidden right in front of you, then you will rediscover all things. So, he writes many, many things in some cryptic and mysterious languages or in mysterious words, but to demonstrate that there is so much around you to be found and so much around you that you haven't yet seen that is there to be seen and discovered you see, many times humans get into a frame of mind where it's 
ho-hum daily routine and they do not step outside they do not think about the angels they do not think about the world as a spiritual place they do not think about the sky or God they think about what it is they must do to get through that day and let's disturb that day shall we let's disturb it with truth with something different with something exciting with something that can change your life change your perception and bring you all things in the way of spirituality wisdom and understanding these things that is my brief message for today because so many of you are stuck in that day-to-day -day boredom doldrum that day-to-day -day life that just does not compute in some ways to happiness so be disturbed seek and do not stop seeking until you find and when you find you may be disturbed and when you are disturbed you will marvel why will you marvel because some of these things that you find are marvelous but after you marvel you will become enlightened and maybe be able to know all things does that make sense to you I hope it does and I will leave you now and there will be another who come and speak maybe wisdom and maybe science or maybe something else whatever it is that is on your heart to learn or to understand or be informed but before I do leave I would like to know if there's anyone else that would like to speak there may be other wisdom out there that need to come forth or maybe there's a question. Thank you, Elijah. I know some of you did add a sound. I'm sorry, there's a bad echo. That's weird. Well, anyway, uh, somebody did ask which dimension you're in. Um, is it spirit realm, or how would you describe that? Yes, I am in the spirit realm. And I am coming back, and I am in a realm between the realms. So I can take on a different kind of thought process and work in some different ways than usual. Is there a question here? Well, I have a comment. This is John. John is here. So I was in Machu Picchu last week, and I was giving lots of training and discussions with with all of you and one of the messages was so clear was healing ourselves and others is so natural it's a natural state of mind no different than us talking right now and it's our minds that think that it isn't and they went through all sorts of exercises to develop that and they said healing would begin in a short period of time that would help people realize the awareness that you're talking about today exactly there are so many things to discover. There are so many things to find. And when you do, are disturbed by them, you will actually be, they will cause you to marvel because they are so, and they are disturbing to the natural norm of the way of the world. Not a negative disturbance, but a disturbance that causes change. And that is a realization that you come to, that healing is very natural. Some people might find that disturbing to their natural world. But yet they will marvel to know that healing is so natural, so true, and so abundant. It's disturbing to our mind, but it's not disturbing to our soul because our soul already knows the truth. Correct. So therefore, of disturbance that Yeshua was speaking of. Everybody can do what he did with the tools and processes to develop that. Correct. Seek until you find. Mm -hmm.
Very, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We did have a question from Christine for Christine. you, Elijah. She says, yes, Christine, she's asking, um, will the Book of Thomas be brought to light in this century? The Book of Thomas is a small, yes, it has actually been translated into English since 1945, I believe. And now, if you look online, you will be able to find it. It is a small gospel. It only has 140 verses, but yet they are all just the words of Jesus, the words of Yeshua. Every one of the lines, every verse in it is something that Yeshua said. And that is why Thomas wrote it down. And the reason why it has not been brought to light in this day and age by your peoples is because I believe they could not understand it. They felt the words were too cryptic back then. They didn't understand what Jesus was trying to say to them. And there was many things in there about men and women becoming one and then not being man or woman and then they could find the kingdom of God that made them think that that was not scriptural. But Jesus speaks about how you can become one with all of those feelings in, within you, how your female side and your male side become one, and then you can enter the kingdom of heaven because you understand both male and female. And they could not understand and they thought that that was blasphemous but he is only talking about the psyche he is not talking about anything else and they were misunderstanding many of the sayings in the book of thomas but yes if you look it up it is available to be found it's called the gospel of thomas it's only a hundred and verse 140 verses long i believe i believe that's how many it is Okay, very interesting. Thank you, Elijah. You are welcome. It looks like we have um, a question from David. David, or a comment. Hello. Hello. I, uh, I'm seeking any guidance on the, my path as a healer to um, be able to connect with people better, to find to help, you know, to I see. Be able to help Let me tell you as you are moving out to try to find those that would want to come to you to be uh, to be healed by you, heal all those that you see. Send all that healing energy out because that will come back to you a hundredfold, and you will understand that when you are sending out this healing energy, they will feel it coming out from you if they have any awareness of all of the spirit in which you are giving it. So therefore, as you are searching and seeking, do not give that up. But as you are searching and seeking, send that healing energy out as well. Because in this sense, it will find those that are meant to be with you. And also I know that you, you understand about advertising and things of this nature, and you know how to do these things in some ways. Grasp on to all those things that you understand in your own wisdom and use them because they are gifts from God. God wants you to use all the information you have. So therefore, continue to seek and find it in that information what you need to do above what I have said. And uh, on that, any guidance on balancing the, the financial aspect of reaching out to follow this path as being a healer, it's been pretty tough uh, financially to do this sometimes. And that's where that's been the finances are a portion of your manifestation. Finances are there when you believe they can come. They are part of your belief system and part of the abundance of God. 
if you manifest wealth or even a dollar, it will come. But you have to believe with all your heart and not doubt that these things can come to you. If you doubt and bring negativity to the thought, I can never get this or it will never happen, then it will not. Because the universe only moves to those that believe and have faith and will continue to persevere with the things they believe. Now with you, you are starting to get some more money. There is a little bit more coming in. However, you're putting out more than you're saving. So the thing is about that, be wise. Only expend that money that is absolutely necessary. If there is a time when you feel that there is something good there that you could spend the money on, but it may not be necessary for this moment, rethink it. Because the money is there for the things that will work for you right now. So if the healing is going to work for you right now, then invest in the healing. That is a beautiful thing. But if it is not working right now, then invest in the things that you know will be working right now. Because in our timelines, every day, day to day, you know in your heart, or you should seek with your heart, those things which are valid for today. And if they are not valid for today, then you should find what is. And invest in that for that day. Because life is a day-to-day -day journey. Oh, I know you have to plan for the future at times. But right now, day to day is most important. The energies are such that they support your present moment and your nows. Think about that. Put a lot of energy into today and into the beliefs that you have for today and manifest for today. Even though it may not come today, you still must manifest for today. Does that make sense to you? Or yes, does, is there more? And I know that you will come into your own, David. You have many gifts and talents, but yet you have doubts about yourself sometimes and doubts about the way things are working. But guess what? Manifest it. Believe. Understand. Bring it. Your power is great if you only believe that it was. Your, your ability to overcome is great. Believe it. Manifest it. Overcome it. Be well and be blessed, for you have many healing powers, and many can benefit from that. Mm, thank you. Much, much love. You are welcome, and much love to you. And there are many out, you, out there that have many talents. Manifest them. Bring them into reality. Do not just talk about, I, I could be able to do this, maybe. Bring that into your daily routine. I need this to happen. God wants this for me. I can bring this to me. The power that is right in front of you. You see, the things that are hidden right in front of you. The wisdom that is right in front of you can be revealed. Because many people go through their lives blind and they don't see what's right in front of them that they can use and they go, I'm confused, what are you talking about? There's nothing in front of me, I, I have, there's nothing here. But yet, there is. God's manifestation is hidden in the present and right in front of you. It Thank is you, time for me to for a time for me to go, I think, unless there is any real pertinent question. But there is other those uh, other of those that must speak. Okay. okay. Well, um, I will ask Pablo. Pablo, did you want to ask a question to Elijah? 
Uh, yes, can you hear me? Yes, yes. I can hear you. Oh, great. Hello, uh, Elisha. Um, I have, my question is, uh, how, mo how better for me to integrate the knowledge I receive in this channeling and my uh, usual life? In your regular life, you can take it and make it personal. Remember the verse. Seek until, whoever seeks must seek until they find. So when you start to find, then those are the times you can start understanding what is around in your regular life. And when you find, you'll be disturbed. It will disturb your regular life. You understand that. And you will marvel because it will be a change. And then you will begin to, the beginning of the knowing of all things. But in your own personal, normal life, does it seem day to day the same? Does it seem the same for you every day? Um, well, lately, yes. That is where you need to go in and find something inside you a desire to move away from that norm to to see the things that are hidden in front of you to find the spiritual world that cannot be touched except by the searching for it you have many things that are good and you have gifts within you that can be used in great ways find them you must understand that they are there you cannot just look around and not see them and give up. But you must seek for them. Know that they are there and know that you will find something and that it will disturb your norma normal life and make it better and it will make you marvel. But what my advice is for to you today is to meditate into the brand new now. This moment is fresh. This time is new. Send all the old feelings away and bring in a new beginning. That is a manifestation that many can do even in the present. Do you understand? Yes, yes. Thank you. You are wonderful and giving and kind and you have good intentions. Now, Expand, find what is hidden right in front of you. Much love to you all. Thank you, Alicia. Much love. Much love to you. And I know that you will understand later more of what I am saying because you will find. Thank you, Pavel. Thank you, Elijah. We have. I will bring. Oh. Yes. Well, Brian Sims did want to ask you a question, but it's up to you, Brian, Elijah. <laughs> if there is another question, I will accept it. Okay, wonderful. And then we can move forward. Brian, can you unmute? Yes. Can you hear me okay? Yes. yes. Elijah, this is Brian. How are you, my friend? Wonderful. And you? Good, good. Uh, my, my question is, um, in the time of the biblical days, um, what people saw at that time, what they described in the book that was recorded in the book about seeing demons. Um, were they actually seeing not just what we call a spirit or demon, like was it actually they seeing like the greys or the reptilians at the time? Let me tell you this. There is all things in the universe. There are demons, there are aliens, there are negative entities, they are beautiful, positive things. All things that you can possibly imagine exist because God has brought in everyone's imagination into some kind of an existence. Whenever they thought they saw demons, some did because they believed so strongly that they created that negative energy so strongly that it became a part of their reality. Do you understand that? 
also, yes, yes, there were times that they did see greys and reptilians and things of this nature on your planet in those times because they were free to walk about and there was no laws against them being there. So yes, there were times that they saw other beings from other worlds. But there are times when they created their own demons or brought those demons from other places. Wow, so they created a, the manifestation energy. So they used their, so their thoughts brought those aspects into their reality. Yes, there is a thought process that God created man. Ah, I, I mean, man created God. Yes. And, but God created man. But the very idea that man could think that brings a thought of manifestation, does it not? Yes, the manifested spiritual. Yes. Yes. I understand. Very well. So our thoughts are very powerful, people. <laughs> and they can be more powerful when more yes. engage in them. If there is a I group do. of people that believe something, is it not more powerful and could yes. possibly bring that into a manifested reality? Understood. Thank you so much, Elijah. Much love, my friend. Much love to you. Thank you, Brian. That was very powerful. We can create what we wish to see now instead of focusing on what we don't like. <laughs> that is what, that is the whole thing about manifestation is your belief system. The stronger you believe, the greater it manifests. Have a wonderful day and I bless all of you beautiful people in the name of God who really loves you and is the fire within you. Be well. Thank you, Elijah. Namaste. We are El Yaha. Greetings. There was one that summoned us, or more than one. Perhaps they wanted to know who we are. We are a group of healers, medical people. We work with the humans and with many other species. We have not been in this particular galaxy for a long long time but now we are we have been here 10 months now and we are starting to work with those who need healing already there have been many miracles there is miracles even here in this room but we will let you know that if you need some healing call upon us and we shall be with you thank you for joining us today is there a name that we would be able to refer to you by we are the El Yaha we are a community there are many names within us but one name will not suffice Okay. We have heard of you. Do you appear sometimes in our reality as orbs to us? Not yet. But we will be appearing in different ways to those that want us to appear to them, just as proof to them. But that is all. Is there are many different ways to appear. We can appear as a hologram or an orb or a sparkling light or whatever it is, but you must believe that it is us. Okay. 
Very interesting. I've heard that you guys like to specialize in healing head pain. Is that true? That is something that we have done a lot of since we've been here. Not that it is a specialty, but it is something we have been involved in quite a bit. So we do work with migraine headaches and back aches, leg aches, arthritis, and things of these natures. That is incredible. We do have a few questions coming in for you. Are you willing to answer some? One moment, there's a question in the room. Yes. Is there anything you cannot heal? Any type of illness you cannot heal? Eventually, there will not be any kind of illness we will not, not be able to heal. But we are still relearning the human physiology. We've come from Andromeda, where we have been there for quite a while. We have not been in the human realm for 400 years, and there are some slight changes. We are making sure that our information is correct. You are welcome. Continue. Okay, thank you. Um, we have a question from Carolina. Carolina. Continue. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, hello. I was expecting to 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 to. to to us so soon. Uh, first, thank you so much for coming and helping with my headaches. You are welcome. I feel, I feel much better, thank you. Um, my, I, it wasn't a question really, it's, uh, it's just to um, let you know that I'm very happy if you would like to keep uh, in contact um, with, with me. Um, of course. You're very welcome to me. We will remain in contact with all those that we've given assistance to because we do periodic checks on each and every one of you. Thank you. So you're the ones when I feel a uh, stop going in my head. Is, is that you? That is us for the most part. Many can feel us working whenever we do our work. Thank you. And that is a good thing. It proves that we are there, but it, hopefully it will not be painful. Well, thank you very much. There have been some moments where the, we have gotten very close to some nerves that cause headaches and other body pains, and we will touch them off, but we will also bring them back into normality before we leave. Thank you. I've been suffering from migraines, and I feel much better um, so thank you for that. They will continue um, to work with you because there is still some work to be done in your brain in the left side of the frontal lobe. Okay, thank you. Do you have any messages? Any messages? Yeah. We do not give very many messages of that nature except okay. to tell you that we will continue to work with you and your healing will be eventually complete. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you so much. You are well, thank you. Um, you're welcome. Um, Brie, is it okay if I ask a question for Joe? Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Hi, I have a question from Joe, my boyfriend. Yes. Were you the, were you the ones who helped him um, get rid of the uh, negative uh, uh, chip that somebody implanted in his head? No, that was someone else that did that. But we did help him with the healing of his legs. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Um, um, he remembers somebody taking him to their spaceship to take that implant out. Was it you or yeah. was it somebody else? It was someone we knew, but it was not us. We do not Can work you... with implants too much. We do know how to remove them, but that particular one belonged to someone and they wanted to take it back, and they did. Do you, do you, can you name who it was? I cannot, because that would be breaking the protocol between our relationship. I understand. Do you have a message for Joe? 
Yes, he will continue to get better and his work will resume. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. We have a question from Cheer. Hello. It is good to speak to you. Uh, well, it's about time. Well, well, I have many, many questions. First of all, I would like to thank you, you know, for what? Yes. The second thing is a request to help my parents and my cat, if it's possible, with healing. We will be working with them. But remember, they must accept the healing for it to be valuable. Also, their belief systems must be a little stronger toward us. At this point, they do not know who we are or do not know anything about us. Please let them know that we are here to assist them and that their belief systems must increase. The greater they believe, the better we can help because it does open up the pathway so we can become more involved with the healing itself. I see. And uh, for the cats? The cats are another story. They are trusting of us already. Okay. Also, I was wondering if you can tell me something about uh, my interaction with you. There are things that we will be helping with in the future. And those things that we will speak to you privately about. Okay. Also, I was wondering, you said that the last time you've been here was 400 years ago. Did you been in the Bible time? Did you have any involvement there? Yes. There was some involvement with the El-Yaha there, but we are not mentioned because they did not know us by that name. They knew us by the Spirit of God. We all often act in the same way. Okay. Thank you very, very much. And it's uh, awesome to meet you finally. And I'm sure that we will speak. Much love and much blessings. And to you as well. Thank you. We have a question next from Khan. Um, Khan is asking, can you describe any tips for healing his headaches? I can describe healing his headaches. He will feel someone working on his brain. It will feel like a tingling or, or maybe it will feel like someone is touching the top of his head. But that is how we work. You will feel us when we are there. We do work in a way that is tangible, but the relief will be noticeable and tangible as well. Now, we will come to you at a time when you are more relaxed. Relaxation is important. You must be calm and relaxed. Healing is best when the person is relaxed and not feeling much stress or fear or any intense emotions. So we come usually during the sleep period, if you would like us to, we only come by request. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, we have a question next from Gabe. Gabe. Hello. Greetings. Yes, I, I'm wondering about I've been feeling like strange in my right side of my brain. I don't know why. What is wrong with your brain? I feel like blockage in my right side of my brain. I don't know why. Okay. We would be able to probably scan that and let you know. But it would be best to do that some other time rather than the present. So I, I we will take care of it if you want us to. So I invite you to help me with that if you can. 
yes, I can help you with that. Or I should say we can help you with that. There are many of us who are better at brains, some are better at backs, some are better at legs and feet. We, some are better at the internal organs. We all have our different areas that we are adept in. Thank you so much. You are welcome. That is so wonderful. Uh, we have a question next from Angie. Angie, are you able to unmute? Yes, thank you. Hello. Yes. Hello. Um, I would like to please request a, a scan on over my heart. Um, I did request it, and um, I feel much better now. But I would like to know if it's like complete, if the healing is actually complete. Can, what was wrong can, with your heart? I didn't say. My heart has got a valve leaking in it. So oh, it yes. causes One moment. heart failure. We, did, we already did a scan on that. One moment. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yes, Yes, we will speak to you about that shortly. There Wonderful. is a time Thank coming you. when we will be meeting you. Okay, awesome. Thank you. And yes, there has been improvements, but we are still working on that. It is a delicate area. Thank you. But there has been improvements, and there Thank has you. been energy increase. Absolutely, yes. We have given you increased energy, slowed down the leakage, caused the heart to be in much better shape. There is one last thing that we must do, but we cannot do without speaking to you in a personal way. We will let you know about that shortly. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, we have a question next from Lori. Are you able to unmute? Oh, that's my bad. I don't think Lori is in the, oh, geez. What, what is her question? OK, I'm sorry. I got a little bit confused here. Um, <laughs> let's back up. I will get back to that one. Um, Oh, here it is. Lori's question is, if you could please describe what the spirit is on the left of her. The left of her. First of all, we will have to scan that area. Where is she located? Uh, looks like Lori is watching on the YouTube live chat. So um, her, she goes by Lori B. We will go there and check out where she is. Okay. And get back to her because it will take a few moments. We do not know exactly where her location is. No problem. Okay. Um, we had a question from Liz, who is, I believe, on mobile. Liz, can yeah. you unmute? Yes. Liz. Is this question for you or for your daughter? I'm sorry. I'm not sure if Liz is able to unmute. I'm trying to um, find out. So I will go back to her. So in the meantime, I'm sorry, we have a question from Alex. Alex, are you able to unmute? Yes, can you hear me? Kind yeah. of. There's crazy noise in the background. Uh, is it okay now? Um, it's, it is all right. I can hear the okay. question. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanted to ask for a scan or for assistance because I've been having some problems with uh, some... Uh, uh, I've been diagnosed with... Uh, 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 rhino, uh, rhinitis, uh, like an allergic reaction this summer, and uh, 
has been starting to come up again and I don't know what to do because I've taken all the medications and I don't know, I'm desperate. <laughs> You're with, you need help with brain, brain action? I'm not sure I do. Rhinitis, like um, it's an allergic reaction that I always get when I'm coughing a lot and sneezing. Oh, bronchitis. Yeah, something, yeah, close to that. Something in the lung area. Yes. How long have you had this condition? For over a year, and I've taken some medication. So it's chronic? Um, yes. We will look into it. Where are you located? You mean my country? <laughs> Where are you located? Um, in Romania. Speak to us afterwards. We need to know where you are. Okay. Thank you. Very well. We may be able to help this condition. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Um, going back to Lori, she did respond saying that she's outside of Toronto, if that helps. Yes, that will help. We, we, there are so many people on this telecast, or whatever it is, that we do not know which one is which, but we have located someone outside that city. Okay, yes, um, she's curious. Um, moving forward, what is, what? oh, um, she was wanting to know what the spirit on the left side of her uh, is. Yes, yes, we will scan and let her know. Thank you so much. Um, we have a question from Liz. I think she was able to unmute now. Hi. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi, oh God, you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you, yes. Oh, such a pleasure to uh, meet you. I'm so happy to be here today. It is good um, for you to be here. There is a need, what is it? Um, well, I, first of all, I just want to know, because um, I've not been here on this webinar or anything before, so I want to know if you come around me and if you uh took me somewhere the other night uh, and if so where where did i go actually we do not take people anywhere we work on them as much as possible in the place where they reside we do it in a holographic form and we do it in a, a more astral way to somewhere it was not us Okay, it's just I woke up and I felt like I was being dropped back onto my bed, so... Um, yes, that was not great. us. But we okay. see that you have some medical needs. Yes. Uh, or is I it have... your daughter? No, I have a son. I don't have a daughter. Or a daughter. Child. Child. I have a son. Yes, and what is the need? Um, the need, I don't really have a need, um, but I'm just wondering, you know, I am a healer, um, and I'm wondering, you know, um, if you are uh, helping me do the healing. We will help you with that. We can encourage healing energies. Thank you. It is good that you are a healer and that your beliefs are good. Your, your healing energy is rather strong. We can increase it. Yes, I would like that. I've got a beautiful energy with me right here, right now. Um, it's lovely. Yes. Yes, I feel that. Yeah. So I would like more people uh, to come to me for the healing um, and also more animals, if possible. And could I um, next year have extra help with the healing for the earth through the ley lines, please? Of course. There are those in this galaxy that are helping with exactly that problem. 
Yes. That would be very good. I'd really like extra help in all those areas because that's what I feel I need to do here on this earth. You have many gifts. This is a strong one, the healing, and it is one of your highest excitement. So therefore, it is one that you should continue to seek a greater involvement with. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, I'm just not sure. No, thank about you. We appreciate any other healers very much. It is something that we understand and are grateful for those that are willing to do so. Yes. And I have a very special son as well. And he, um, I think, will also grow up to be a healer. Yeah. Yes. We see that he has some great energies. He is a special child. He is. I'm very gifted and blessed to have him in my life. Excellent. Yes, he is a healer for sure. But there are other things there we, that we can see. And, and what are those things, please? They are not yet developed. We would have to wait and see how they develop in order to tell you exactly what they will be. But there are the seeds of many different gifts. Okay. Um, could you tell me um, uh, where I have come from, please? You mean what star system? Yeah. Actually, you've been in the stars many places. You do have a star family. They're high. They're from a very a fifth dimensional existence. The Octorians and the Syrians. And some of them are the, the more higher evolved Syrians. Oh, right. Thank you very much. Um... And I know I've had many uh, earthly experiences as well. Um, you find that there is some, some lightness in your thought process when you think about the stars. When you think about the different star seed elements, you feel a disconnect in some areas uh, of, but it is all right. Yes, yes, this is true. Thank you. Um, there are many of you that feel this way, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Great. That is wonderful. Um, we have a few more questions left. Are you still able to stay for a little bit? If you request us to stay, we can. There are many oh, out doing okay. healing work at this time. But I can answer questions if you wish. Wonderful. Well, um, I just would like to request on behalf of everybody who is watching this in this moment, who will be watching this in the future, quote, future, um, I would like to request on behalf of all light workers for whatever assistance you're able to bring in terms of healing, it is much welcomed by many of us, I know, and um, we're going through a lot right now collectively, so please, whatever healing you are able to continue bringing, we greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you. We have a few more questions left. It looks like uh, Krellick did have a question. Are you able to unmute Krellick? Uh, yes, I am here. We can hear you. I want just wanted to ask about uh, well, about putting out a request that I give your people permission to work with me on any healing, either physically, mentally, or emotionally, and and I do need some assistance in healing my left toes. Yes, we see where you are. It shows. We will be helping you in the future. Give us a few days. 
there are some more serious problems that we will look at first. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, we did have a question from Tina regarding the chakras. Um, she said, um, are you able to heal our chakras completely? And um, what percentage are you able, are you allowed to relieve us in our chakras, I believe she means? The chakras are an interesting place. They hold all your past lives behind them. Therefore, whenever healing the chakras, it's also looking at past lives and healing past life incidences and scenarios. You must be aware of these scenarios before they can be healed because most of the time it will require action on your part to bring the healing about. Forgiveness has wronged you or awareness as, of, as to of what has happened so that you might be aware of how to forgive it, heal it, or bring it into a resolution. Therefore, yes, we can help you with your chakras. You may find that there is a lot of work to do if there is problems lives, or if there is a lot of illness in the body, you will find that some of these will some of these can be healed through past life um, healings, recognitions, forgivenesses, etc. But yes, with the ample amount of time that it would take to go through each chakra, we could do a complete job. However, I would ask that you only ask for the more serious problems to be solved. After the chakras have been helped, then we can brighten them. I know that there has been many out there, or not many, but there has been a study on your planet where the people think that the chakras should be left alone entirely. This is not very good information. It just is a fear-based phenomenon that they are trying to put out there. They say, oh no, don't touch it, you could mess things up. But if you know how to work with the chakras correctly, you can do them a lot of good. If you do not know how to work with the chakras correctly, you can do a lot of harm. But let us just say that those that know what they are doing will help you and those that do not will not. Okay, that is so wonderful. Thank you for that explanation. Um, there's three more people um, I'm going to call for and to ask and then um, we can move forward and see if anybody else would like to join us today. Um, Christine yeah. has a question. Yes. Um, my system crashed, so um, can I ask, to be really embarrassing, can I ask who I'm speaking with? We are El Yaha. I am pleased to meet you. Um, can you help me with my healing, my own healing? I seem to have... Um... Arthritis? <laughs> yeah, arthritis and um, part of my left leg is... Um, numb and right now I have a, a big huge knot in my back so yeah, yeah Would we see the numbness is a nerve damage problem um, the knot in the back can be helped yes all things that you have can be worked with and can you help me um, would I have to be in meditation or clear my chakras or how can I go about doing it myself? Your belief system with healing yourself is the major factor. If you have the energy and power within you, and you do, believe it. Manifest your healing 
with yourself. Believe without a shadow of a doubt that you can heal yourself and it can be done. Oh, that little shadow of a doubt is a killer. <laughs> it is. People must come into the fullness that true belief and faith is necessary for the outcome to be pure. Well, since um, I'm not doing so well on myself, can I um, ask for your help in um, yeah. either? We will help you. Okay. Thank you. And this will increase your belief system. You see, once <laughs> you have experienced some healing, to believe in the rest of it. Yes, that's it exactly. Thank Very you. well. Then we will work with you because you do have some faith. We'll work with the faith that you have and bring it into a greater understanding and more powerful existence. Thank you. I truly appreciate that. Blessed it is important. It sure is. Do you is. realize how strong humans could be if they believed in who they really are? I believe that. I just haven't gotten past the little other part. You have been taught in your world that you cannot do things. And it has actually been proven to you in some way that you are limited. Yes. Now let us prove to you. Yes. I'd like that proof. Yes. So I could move on. <laughs> yes, moving on is what we would have people do. Because your planet is in a wonderful and fragile place. But we wanted to move forward and become stronger. Yes. Thank you much. You are welcome. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, I think David Waller had a comment he wanted to make or a question. Continue. I am here. Yes, hi. Hi. Hello, Ilya. Hello. Hello. Um, I. I know that uh, I wanted to kind of give a form of a testimony because I know a lot of people are unfamiliar with you. I actually spoke of you last week and the work that you did within me. I was, and if you could speak on it a little bit too, I was probably, I don't know if this is the first time in the history of mankind, but I was turning into uh, an actual Pleiadian. My skin was changing. There were lines on my face that had never been there. And at 45 years old, you don't expect to see these things happen. So when it was noticed that uh, this was happening to me because of what I'm going through, I immediately started to notice the, the difference in the work that was being done. And there is a distinct feeling when the Iliaha are working on you. And uh, I'm not sure if it's this way for everyone, but when they're working inside of your inside of you or inside of your brain, what happens is you'll get these very strange sensations uh, all over your head, but not necessarily all at the same time. Sometimes two or three places at the same time, you'll feel almost as if you're being lightly tickled by a feather or like there's a bug crawling on your skin. And that's, uh, that's usually, and there's, there's a different feeling when different, um, when different beings are in there, but uh, for the Ilya Ha, it's a very distinct feeling, and I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've done for me, and also to give a testimony that what the Ilya Ha do is very real, and it's very tangible, as opposed to um, many times we are being what we call faith healed. This was very tangible, and, uh, and also if you could kind of speak a little bit on what exactly you did. I brought it up last week uh, when Elijah asked about it, but I was unable to give, I think, the terminology that's probably needed. And thank you very much. I understand. This is a very interesting situation. You, This is a human being named David. However, integrating within him is Tosca, who is Pleiadian. The very thought that a Pleiadian and a human could interact together 
in such a way was novel for a while. Now, what has happened is that when the Pleiadian DNA started hitting David, it became overwhelming to the human system. They did not realize that the Pleiadian DNA would start to take over. And so, at one point, he was starting to become a Pleiadian. With this happening, we saw that that would be a disaster. So they called us his planet. His sister from Maya called us and asked us to come and take charge of the situation. Tolska, the name of the, the prince that will be in him and uh, be part of him, uh, could not do anything about this at this time. So we had to come in and backwards uh, bring the, the bring the uh, DNA backwards because it was fully going to make him the alien. And so therefore we had to remove some of it. We had to bring him back into a more human state and it was a difficult task. Nothing like this has ever been done before. And so we had a lot of learning to do ourselves, but we were eventually successful. I do not know how to describe it in human terms. Uh, I fall short when it comes to this kind of medical procedure. So therefore, we did our best, and it did work out in our favor and in his favor. So now, Tosca who is the prince from Maya, will be able to integrate, and I believe has already integrated, into David, and this is now a successful operation. Is this correct? Yes, I, I believe it is. I've been, uh, it, it's, I, because I really, there's no template or pamphlet to, to kind of know what's happening to me it's, and how it's happening. I, I can only speak for the experiences and I'm, I'm journaling them as well. However, uh, yeah, I believe that uh, I know that your work was 100% and that is what we were waiting for, for him to go in and reintegrate himself. And that's where we're at now. Very well. Now to discuss this with the group is difficult because I don't even know the words to use to tell them what we did. We, we took out, DNA where there was too much and that is not possible in some scenarios so we had to regress it we had to actually use some instruments that we had not used in quite a while there is one instrument that moves things back in time by an hour we use this instrument that go to move things back in time an hour several times in certain areas of the brain and the body. The lines that were appearing, he was also starting to become shiny. His skin surface was changing. Um, can you tell them about that? Yeah, it's actually still shiny. Um, it was, I mean, I, I was mentioning that last week. I got up and looked in the mirror one morning and my the side of my head about a three inch side of my head by my ear was and my kind of by my uh the side of my ear and temple was completely silver like uh, silk like chrome or silver and that's actually i was really excited about it because i was like hey I get to walk around and look like an alien but um, i don't think that was such a good thing come <laughs> in retrospect but uh now what is happening is i have my my skin is it's perfect I, for me. And there's a, there's a glitter that is when the sun is shining on my skin, there's a, uh, like a glitter that comes over it almost like how some people, when they, some girls, when they put, uh, I guess, makeup on, they'll put some glitter on their face and that's what it looks like when I'm in the sun. So that is actually stayed. Um, I think it was just regressed compared to what it would have been. Is that correct? Yes. It would have been pure silver. Your skin would have turned this silvery color. But there's still some evidences of that. 
but it is not enough to for us to go back in just to back it up even farther what you have remaining of the Pleiadian signs on your face are acceptable yeah yeah it really is it's uh and for me it's it's proof it's a little bit like when you have a scar on your when you get a scar from hurting yourself it it's proof that it happened and i think in the third dimension we always require data and proof and especially my brain so i it's been it's been uh, the most exciting time in my life it has been a frustrating time for us <laughs> yeah. but actually a victorious time as well we did work very diligently for many days. It did take some time, and it, we are sorry that it took so long. But this procedure has never been done, or should I say not never, but only been done long periods of time ago. <clears throat> and not on humans. Right. Well, so I'm therefore, it, it was a challenge. Yeah. Well, thank you again, and uh, you are loved. You are welcome. I am glad that things are working for you. Thank you. Thank you Continue. so much. Uh, that was awesome, David, and um, really good to have a testimony here because this stuff is real. Um, and on that note, just because now I am very curious, have I already received healing from the al -Yaha? Is that some of the strange tingling <laughs> on my crown that I've been feeling recently? We have worked with you, but only by permission. Your subconscious asks us to come and do something for you. We have done so, and it is done. It completed Oh, thank you so much. That is awesome. Well, kudos to my subconscious then. <laughs> we are um, working with those from this human colony area and also a few from Ashtar Command and light workers in different places that are aware of us. Oh, very interesting. Well, now I have to ask you because this has been very confusing for me for these past few months. I'm going to throw this in here before we move forward. Can you please describe, for my peace of mind, as there's a lot of misinformation out there, um, Ashtar Command, briefly, who they really are and what they really do. They are a numerous amount of people and aliens. And they are actually communicators. They put out messages and thoughts and they are actually a society that is trying to bring Earth together. I do not know how to put it more simply. And they are actually not trying to rule the Earth, but influence it in many ways. Okay, is Lord Sananda a part of our a Christ figure? Is your, are you asking if he's a Christ figure? Um, well, yes, because I've heard that he is a you know, fractal of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and also he's a part of Ashtar Command. And personally for me, it's been very frustrating. This misinformation about Ashtar Command has been quite a ride. So I just was interested in clarification. When there are large organizations, there will be misinformation. Because many of the people that are involved in Ashtar Command don't always understand what they're doing with Ashtar Command. And therefore, the main mission statement, if you will, has been lost to some degree. But those that are at the top of the pyramid, if you will, all know what must be done and who must do it. Now, there are many portions or people in Ashtar Command that maybe shouldn't be there, but that is not for me to say because it is their free will and it is a free will of mankind to do whatever they please. But let's put it this way, they are not doing it any good. It is the same with human colony. 
there are many misconceptions about what you represent. And they are confusing. And if you are not part of it daily, then you will find it to be very confusing and disenchanting even at times. So therefore, give them the benefit of the doubt. Their original basis is a positive one and has merit. Now, you, the leader that you speak of does have a remnant of Christ or Jesus or Yeshua. They're all the same. But do not be overwhelmed by that because there are seven aspects of Jesus on earth that are active at this time. Okay. Well, that is very nice for a little clarification. So I really appreciate that. I hope other people um, find that valuable as well. Um, so mo we have so so many requests flooding in for healing from the El Yahas. So what I'm going to do, I we think, will is just look at them. We will look at them and go to them. Oh, wonderful! Because I was trying to make a big list, and I know that you guys are telepathic, so really. <laughs> There is no way that you could possibly speak all these words to us. So we will come and look at it ourselves. Oh, what a relief. So yes, please, everyone, know that your thoughts are so powerful and you may send them out to who you wish to connect with. Please send telepathic messages to the El Yaha if you request healing and you will receive healing if you allow it. Um, Sheer is really bothering me to ask something before you leave, so Sheer, go right ahead. Hi, um, the, earlier on, you encouraged us to ask to see you, to interact with you, so if it's possible to interact with you, to see you in any shape or form that you will choose, any time, I would definitely like to interact and see you. Excellent. We will be there. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, with that said, um, let me just quickly throw in there, please help Jim Charles with healing his eyes because we love him so much and we want him to be able to see. <laughs> um, so finally, um, oh, I have to add this in here before we move forward. Khan, our sweet artist Khan, is asking if you are able to describe yourselves what you would, I guess, like to be depicted as to the human collective um, so that he's able to draw something, whatever it is, which then permits more healing to come to us. We, in our identity, we look a lot like energy with a film around it. We do not have a great corporeal body, but our, we do have one that is considered matter. But it's like it encloses energy because this is how God created us. Does that make sense to you? Or does that make it easier for you to draw us? I have a body of some form, but it's not the same form as some of the other bodies around me. We are amorphous or polymorphous in the sense that the material part of our bodies, the matter portion, can change and help move the matter, the energy around in the way that we so desire. I'm not sure if I described that correctly. <laughs> you have bodies, but they are not strongly visible or strongly matter, but they are there. Well, that is beautiful, and I think it is going to work very well for uh, we can, uh Our bodies can shape into hands or shape into legs or whatever to help in any situation. 
if we need to work on a human brain, we can take on human form so that we can more easily work with humans. Does that make sense to you at all? Yeah. We will create ourselves in a human form so that we can study ourselves as we study the human that we are working on. Okay. Very cool. Well, that is perfect. I guess the last question then is, how is it best for us to spell your collective's name? E L Y A H A L Y A A. Okay. Awesome. So that is easy enough. So with that said, please, of course, assist those who are asking for it. And thank you so much for joining us today and for your healing energy. It is so greatly appreciated, especially at this time. The earth needs much healing and physical, mental, and spiritual as it is. We will work with your physical body, but remember, when the physical body is healed, it does increase the spirituality and the emotional body. All things work together. Okay. Have a wonderful day and be well. Thank you. So much love. Namaste. Um, what about uh, Ray? I'm sorry? I know that Ray had a question that he's been trying to get through for about 20 minutes. I did not see his question. Um, looks like we're moving forward, but I will, I will check. Okay. Thanks. Did someone call us back? Um, yes, it does look like Ray has a question, um, but I don't think that Ray is here. In Ask him for him. Oh, he is. Uh, Ray, are you able to unmute? Yes, I am. Hi, Ray. Yes. You know me as Stargazer in the group. Correct. We know yes. who you are. Yes. The other night when I was on the train on Amtrak, there was a certain regent angel by me, keeping me comforted because of not being able to sleep. Who yeah. was that regent? Is my only question. Sandalphon. All right. I'll send him some healing and thanks, of course. Also, to let certain people know on here, I made it to Ohio safe and sound. Excellent. To let you guys know that. Little cold, but I'm doing good. <laughs> good, Ray. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah. Thank you. We will go now. Right. Much love. Much love. Namaste. Thank you again for joining. Ah, I've only stopped for one second. This is Angel Yorio, just to say hello and to give you great blessings and to tell you that your group is very blessed. Be of good cheer, be of good likeness to the Father and follow in his footsteps at this time. I know many of you are not what you would call a religious group, but you are spiritual. And that is more important than all the buildings on earth. 
So therefore, continue in your path to self into a spiritual being that has promise, that can help the earth, that can move forward, and not just one that will sit in a pew or a place of residence and say that you've done a good job because you've been there. Not so, but action is the, the word of the day. Move forward and give your love, share your love and spread your love, and that is the action that is most promising and most beautiful. Not that you are giving a great amount of attention to a certain person, place, or thing, except for God, of course, but that you're in action to do the things that your heart is speaking for you to do. And that is part of who you are. And I thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Archangel Uriel. We love you. Hello. Ooh. It's Jim. <laughs> hey, Jim. How you doing? Time to hydrate. <laughs> yes, time to hydrate. <laughs> Very good. I'm hydrating as we speak. Yes. We ended on a very light, fun note from Archangel Uriel, so that was very lovely. Oh, good. Yeah. Excellent. I wasn't expecting it. Um, I know we still had a few minutes left, but I'm happy it went this way. Um, I didn't want to go over the time. I know you have a tight schedule. Well, um, there's time for the blessings. Yay, perfect. Well, that's wonderful. Then with that said, um, if anyone would like to volunteer for blessings, yes, it's okay to do two blessings in a day or to do blessings all day long, if that's what you choose. I'll so, go, I'll go. <laughs> oh, yay. Yes, oh, please, Brian. Right. Very good. Anybody in the room? <laughs> um, and people go here as well. Anybody else? Well, we'll... If you decide after uh, Brian and Angie, just let us know. Go ahead, Brian. I just wanted to wish everyone a, a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's and seasons, seasons greetings And uh, before I begin. So thank you, Jim. Excellent. Ilioko so so tatiki, ili ni akataki hi a rapa, i sakate she tatana na kuatea. Eliata nani ki kako selia tati katasha lokotononi ki te kato kua ilia asa katana ni ki hia kako wa ilia nana ko shoto to waitia ilia tana ni ki ya asolo to watatia namaste and so there is all the space in the universe and all the room for thought that there is, still cannot, you cannot understand the thoughts of God or the things that he has created or the places that are beyond what is beyond. Be of good cheer and know that you are all part of his love and his glory. Make sure that you know that you are moving forward and that your wisdom will be intact and that you will be able to use it for a positive reason. Today is a beautiful day. Enjoy it in its fullest and bring some along, someone along with you. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. Uh, Angie, would you like to go next? Ya ana te e ya ya ta asia ta te ya ta wa ai a la yen ya te ia wa ai a ka te ya isa se ni e wa wa ma wa ai ya ya ni ti ya ti ka na ai ya ta ta u sha sha ni ya ya ta ke ni ya wa ya i ta na ya ya wa na ka da so wa i sha sha wa wa ni ya le le ka na ai ya ni ya i ta na le ka na ai ya ya ni wa wa ya shi ja ja wa ni ya ya ta ke ya 
For some, pleasure and kindness and goodness is fleeting. They are surrounded by the harshness of their world. They are surrounded by pushing and shoving and things pushing into their lives that they wish were not there. But be of good cheer also at this time, for these things will start to... If you believe that you can manifest the beauty of a world that does not exist at this moment, then you will be in a world that does not exist at this moment. Manifest your beauty. Manifest those things of goodness, kindness, and goodwill. And you will be part of a world that is real, but that does not exist in the thoughts of third dimension. Amazing. Uh, looks like... Um, Justin wanted to go. Only if you guys can hear me. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yes. Perfect. Much love. Much love. You're not no way. You're no way. Na pe na ki. Shen ya na kwe. Rana ya na pe na ki. Shen ya na we. Ya na kwe na pe rana kwe ni. Shen ye rana na kwe ni. Ya na na kwe. Much love. Let there be beauty in a way where beauty can feel tangible. Where it comes into your eyes and stays in the back of your brain. Where it comes into your heart and becomes water that flows through your body and tingles all the sensations. Yes, let it be like the words of this beautiful song that is a melody that haunts you in a very wonderful and calming way. Let your life be with the spirit of these kinds of things. Thank you, that's so beautiful. I love this. <laughs> uh, Carolina, you wanted to go? Thank you. Yes. Oh, shantua Namaste. Since no one has mentioned friendship, we have come to remind you that you are all connected together and with us as well, of course, and that we remind you that together we build a great community of energy power, love, and understanding. We would love to be so much a part of you, and so continue to move forward so that you may join us soon. Namaste. Thank you. We have a blessing next from Michelle. Namaste, everybody.
All intangible things have energy. Peace has energy. Love has energy. Hope has energy. And all these things that you cannot see have an energy of their own. Remember that even though you may not be able to see the things that are coming to you, that you are manifesting, that the energy of your manifestation has its own heaviness in the weight of understanding and belief. Believe in yourself. Believe that the things that are coming are really coming. Believe that the things that are necessary will be with you. And believe that God is your provider. You will not go wrong to believe with your fullness that all things are possible and all things are in front of you even before you ask. So beautiful. Thank you. Uh, wonderful. We have a blessing from Sarah. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Very well, thank you. さかたや。さかたのことあしゃ。なやきやしか。おことと。ティラタカナイヤキ。コトコラリチキシにのことおしゃ。たらとか。さたらなきやすことの。さやなきやかやさかた。Close your eyes and be silent. <coughs> Let the vision inside expand to become a greater vision than you've ever seen before. There are such beauties as never been seen by the eye, but only by the heart. <coughs> One moment. Mm -hmm. Ah, they didn't want that to come out. <coughs> but only by the heart. The soul knows of the colors that don't exist in this world and the expressions and beauties of emotions that are more fulfilling than you can ever imagine in this density. Rejoice that you know as much as you do in this life. For in the next, you will be expanded and will grow in greater ways than you ever thought imaginable. <coughs> Thank you for that, Sarah, and thank you, Jim. We have a blessing, lastly, from Wendy. <coughs> Once again, we gather here today in body, mind, and spirit. So let us all join in the energy of all the information and guidance given today. Yakwa <laughs> 
Alohami anakatua, sikiaya ayu mayuaki. Iki mayu ala satoru sopa la halorami anaki so so. Ikiyama ala hayataki maru. A o kayatashia ala hila ro. Elihimi la kuri aloama ala kuala hilora. A ruhahi siki ala kuala imbala wakia. O ha kua shaka. Siki maya wa hasala. I maya o otu. So tu sha yu ala kunaya. Aya so kwa. Amorua ikia satarasi. Si talia sola. Marua kia. Amaya loha kataliandor sopa. Kolea sotarashi. I koya. Mi soya toya. Maha. Maste. From the known to the unknown, we sense what we can believe and what we want to believe. We sense what is out there and what we cannot sense is that there are things that we don't want to believe. As we go into the mysteries of those things that we believe and not believe, we clear a path to God. And we tell him what we know, and we tell him what we believe, and we ask him to help us with our path. Let him expand you. Let the expansion be in truth. Because there are those things that can be a mystery that are not true. And there are those things that can be a mystery that are true. And we want to know only the things that we should develop to be the life that is to, of the greatest essence, the greatest truth, and the greatest light to the world. All other things we should not develop. <clears throat> thank you, Jim. As always, thank you for a beautiful day and bringing us beautiful energies and absolutely just epic, amazing <coughs> translations for us. It's so beautiful and, and more gratitude to you than you could imagine. Thank you. I couldn't have said Thank it you better all. myself. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. I love you. Love you too. I love you much. Everyone. It's been a nice day. It has been so nice. Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you everybody for joining. Um, you are all so loved. We're going to wrap up for today, um, but stay strong and keep shining your light onto the world. Oshoro honta ka yahanta hayisoko. Namaste. We love Namaste. you. Namaste.